Uh, before I begin, I want to give a shout out to my husband, Rob. He made these fabulous transparent earrings for me, and they are the inspiration for today's talk. Thank you, Shacha. I've always lived my life out loud. Since I'm not a great actress, I've never tried to lie or fool people. I found it easier to be transparent with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Some people describe this as wearing my emotions on my sleeve, but however you view it, I'm gonna tell you the story of how I have come to use my transparency to be the ripple of support in other people's lives. The day our firstborn was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome is a blur, except for a few sentences the doctor uttered. Your son will never be able to tell you he loves you. He'll be able to say the words, but he'll never know what it means to actually love you. Wow, we walked out of the office in the days. My husband, who's more reserved and insular than I am, he read books and blogs and asked the internet tons of questions. But me, I went into fix him mode. I joined groups, I signed us up for classes, I registered my kid for therapies, and I contacted everyone on my Christmas card list to announce our new reality. My desperation to be transparent began with a need to fix him. But what I learned, there was nothing wrong with my kid. I needed to fix the community around us to ensure we had the right level of support around him. As my network of support grew, so did my understanding about how we can normalize the things that make us unique. Partially thanks to my transparency, but I think mostly based on our kids' awesomeness. Our boy has empathized, he has loved, he's been hurt, and he's taken so many risks. He even had to move to Germany this summer and start university without our help. My transparency has had an impact on our kids' success, but it has had an even greater impact on my abilities as an educator. When I sit across the table to discuss difficult topics with parents, I offer different support now. Sitting with a mom, I can hold her hand as we unpack her child's ed psych results, all the while reiterating, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I can share pieces of my story to show parents and others that life is messy but we can get through hard things if we know what we're dealing with. Then a few years ago, I became transparent in a different way. I became a trans parent. Our youngest came out as transgender and I'm embarrassed to say I didn't get it at first. What does that mean? What do you feel? When did you know? How did I miss this? What can I do? How can I help? How can I fix me? In my child's most vulnerable moment, I took the lessons learned a decade before and realized there was no one to fix but myself. I needed to do the learning. So as my husband turned to books and blogs, I reached out to our community and I began to read and listen and watch and practice and ask and share and mess up and apologize and try better. Being transparent about being a trans parent has taught me more than you can imagine. The learning gleaned from this transparency has made me a better advocate for my children, for your children, and for our community of students. Being transparent is more than just wearing your emotions on your sleeve. And it's a hell of a lot more than vocalizing your opinion. Being transparent requires you to be open-minded, to seek advice, to welcome feedback, and to respect criticism. Not everyone will be like me and announce their new realities to the world, but I encourage you to find someone to share your reality with. Find someone you can trust, who can listen, who can counsel and support you as you ask them to be transparent with you. Be willing to fix you. In doing this, you'll become a more inclusive educator and better citizen of this world. 
And if you're lucky, you might get some cool earrings out of the deal too. Thank you.